Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing well. And in this video, we are going to talk about a very important file known as package log JSON file. Right? We have already talked about what is semantic versioning and what is package.json file and what it does. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch that video, then come to this because that might be useful uh, out here, right? So we'll, we'll talk about this package log.json file in this video and why it was created, right? So the first thing is uh, npm uh, 5 brought out this particular concept of package log.json. Before that, there was no package uh, log.json file, right? After that, uh, npm wanted to maintain semantic versioning, right? Because they found out while upgrading packages, while doing installing packages, while verifying they can easily bump up to the latest version and latest version can be used as well, right? So for doing that, they came up with this particular thing known as package log.json for maintaining the semantic versioning, right? Still, this cannot be maintained as a semantic versioning because developers need to also follow the semantic versioning. If they are not following, there is no use of this package.log.json file or package.json file because it can break your application when auto upgrading the dependency. And what we mean by that, we'll just see. So I've removed everything, the don't worry folder as well as package log JSON file, right? I'll go ahead and install a dependency known as moment.js, uh, npmio moment. This is popular library in maintaining and handling uh, date in JavaScript, right? Let's go ahead and install that. It will take some time and add a dependency out here and add a node modules folder out here as well. So you see, it added two things. One is this particular dependency out here and node modules folder and package log JSON file. Let's look at them one by one. First, I installed this. So it went to this website and brought the latest version that is published now, this particular thing. This and this will be same. Let's go to node modules folder and no moment package and just see what package the JSON has. The version is 2.29.4. That is perfect. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and look into what this package log JSON file have. This package dot listen uh, log dot JSON file has a node module slash moment uh, that is saying the version, that is saying the URL that it came from, integrity, some licenses and engine, right? The moment we see there is a dependency and there is a version that match with the JSON uh, package dot JSON that is, you know, perfect moment, right? There is no issue in that, right? Now, let me go ahead and say that I want a version. Uh, let's say, let's just check what are the version available, right? We go, we can go to this version and see. So right now, this is the version. There was three version. There are two version. There are one version. Let me go to this 2.29.1 version, right? 2.291. I manually update this, hit save, and I'll quickly do npm let me remove this particular node module folder first right and le let me remove this package dot log dot json file as well this will ultimately added when we do this right let me do npm i because there is already a dependency listed out here right so i'll go ahead and do a npm i my terminal so it will go to that website and see this version available and bring it here so one is brings it up this if you see this version right if you see this version now the important point comes up if you see this version this version provided by us and we know that this version will be required in our project and there are certain apis provided in this particular version that we will be using right now whenever we fetch this particular version what npm does internally is it goes to the site and see what is the latest version of this package it can bring i repeat what is the latest version of this package it can bring so it brings the latest version and adds to the node module folder. That is, that is what it does, right? But the package.json says a different thing, right? So if I go to node modules folder, go to moment package and see the package.json, you will see that this particular version and this particular version are different. This particular version and this particular are version are different. If you see 2.29.4 and go to that website, this is the latest version, right? And how it does that? How it does that? It does follow the semantic versioning, right? We have already talked about in the previous video about that this particular, um, this is major, uh, does the notation, this is major, this is minor, and this is patch. 
and the semantic versioning says in the patch in the minor and the, in the patch version there will no breaking change so npm no, knows that hey like you know there is a latest version and there is no change in breaking that could break the project so let me bring the latest version out here so it brings go ahead and bring the latest version if you see the node modules it brings the latest version now let's go to package.json so this is the difference here package.json will always contain the exact same package version as of node modules as of node modules that's why it was added like hey i want to maintain a correct version of you know node dot modules right that's why package dot lock dot json exist right now let's do one thing right let's do one thing i go to the version and see what version different available right let's me let me update to this particular version right 2.25.3 2.25.3 and let me go ahead and remove this particular folder and remove this pack, package dot, package log dot json as well right i remove that there is already a version mentioned right i do npm i correct i do the npm i it goes to the npm registry it doesn't update this though the same thing will happen it will go ahead and see that is there any minor version latest minor version available yes is there any my, uh, major new version of uh, patch exist yes it goes to here and bring the latest version itself again if i go to moment again you will see it is the latest version it upgrades to latest version even if you see there is a version that is a wrong version right but node modules has a different version go to package.json you will see that again the latest version exists and they differ the version from package.json and the new version is there in package.log.json so this means that if you don't follow semantic versioning that npm says follow it and developer doesn't follow it what happens is if there is a upgrade from 2.3 to 2.4 generally semantic version means there is a no breaking change npm understand there is a no breaking change but as a developer you are making a breaking change and you are not following semantic budgeting and you are upgrading it from 3 to 4 and breaking the breaking they're giving a breaking api change right so what happens npm understand there is a no breaking api change but as a developer as a developer we consume it npm upgrades the version to 3 to 4 right because it finds the latest version if in there is you know a old version in your packet.json it brings the latest version and dumps in node module folder and what happens it breaks your project it breaks your project and if you feel like my npm version my packet.json version is correct here it has no upgradation it has every api that i need but the truth is this node module folders had different version of uh, node package and this package.json maintains that as well right let me go ahead and do one thing more let me go ahead and do one thing more I do npm i exio this is another yet another package right now let's deep dive into and understand so it brings a package version from here and if we go to node modules folder now if you go to node modules folder now right and see this exio will be existing again here right but the thing is one point note two is there is apart from exio there are other packages as well they are known as now you know these packages are you know dependencies of exios so if you go to exios and go to packet.json file of exios you'll find that there are a lot of dependencies that exios also depends upon right there are dependencies that all exios also depends upon right so this way it brings that package as well that package as well because for exios to run its dependency are also required right so it brings that now just look at the packet log json file what it will do again if you go to this particular you'll find there is the dependency of on exios and you go here you'll find a dependency on exios as well as well as their dependence right their dependence and all the all the packages that you have in non modules will have correct mapping to those package log.json file and it maintains everything right it maintains everything right so this is how you know package log json file work but the question comes here is 
how do npm know that i have to upgrade this version or i have to upgrade this version right and this is a major api change generally it is not easily done by npm should not be done by npm because this breaks your application so npm does bump this and thus bump this but there is a scenario where it bumps a version this is all depends upon this particular symbol and we are going to talk about that in the next video till then take care and if you are finding this videos useful and making sense to you do consider subscribing and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye keep learning